Hello. This is like my third time trying to take this video. I'm sorry. I can't breathe, so I keep sniffling. I apologize in advance. Um, but at the beginning of my writer's notebook, I have like a pocket, and this is where I keep like all of my um, lesson plan stuff that I've used because I use my writer's notebook to lesson plan. So this is like my outside documents. So I didn't want to like tape them in or anything. So I have that, and then I have um, the script of like um, the found word poem that we did with Last Stop on Market Street and like the midterm review and that kind of stuff. Um, and then also this note of you giving me advice during one of our conferences because I did have a slow start to my writer's notebook because I couldn't get over the hump of trying to be perfect and worrying about what to write about. But I finally got over that <laughs> and doing better. Um, so my first thing in my notebook is write about my name. You're not really going to be able to see it, but um, we shared that in class. And then on the back of that, I have the found word poem. This is the only page I've actually written on the back of because I don't, I don't like being able to see through the page, the writing, and like having indentions. And so mo most of it's just front unless I need to continue it. Um, but then the next page is the notebook strategies. We also did this in class where you gave us time and like we went through and had to pick like three or four of the options you had given us and then my next thing was a list of things that made me happy and I like went through and added stuff throughout the semester I was pretty picky about it I shouldn't have been but I was like I said rough start um but things like that are like sunsets my home my sisters making other people laugh smile that kind of stuff um and then this <laughs> is like a memory I woke up one morning and realized I had had like a faint memory of having a charlie horse but I I didn't actually like wake up to have one because normally if I would get a Charlie horse in the middle of the night it's like I wake up in like screaming pain but I didn't but my calf was really sore and so like it was just a weird thought in the back of my mind where it's kind of like subconsciously I knew I was having one but I didn't actually wake up um so I wrote about that and then I wrote about my home this home that I live in here in Stillwater and my roommate and this I also use this as one of our shares that we did in like partner work basically I go on and I talk about like what I see as I pull into my driveway whenever I walk in how we always have a candle or incense burning and like how it isn't just like the specific house but it's also the mismatched furniture and it's my roommate and it's everything that makes it a home and then I have a list of things I wonder um and so like some of these things are like why is change so hard for me um, is astrology real and accurate? Will COVID go away? Why is college so expensive? <laughs> um, and then like uh, one thing that I wondered is like, is teaching the right path for me? Which like, obviously it's my passion. It's something I want to do, but it's always something that's in the back of my head, but I've been trying to fight that lately because I do feel like I have been going on the right path. Um, and then the next one is something I noticed. Cause that was something that you had told me is like, look about look around at things you notice, write small, that kind of stuff. And so I wrote about this plant out of place. I went to my friend's house and we were outside playing cornhole and I noticed this like plant outside and it was like a pumpkin plant growing right next to their house. So that was crazy. Um, and then this is the, like the house that built me. You had asked us to draw a map, but it's the gym that built me. It's kind of a, uh, don't look at it, but <laughs> That's that, and then I also wrote, like, a little expert on the next page about, like, the details of that. Um, then the next page is the Where I'm From poem. Um, it's actually kind of messy. Pretty bad, actually. Um, but, yeah, that's also on the poetry portion of my, I think it's the first poem on the poetry portion of my portfolio. Then the next one, I don't really have a title on it. All of these are dated at the top, by the way, except towards the end. I forgot to start doing that. But um, this is talking about how, like, my schedule every day got very, like, it was very boring and it was the same thing. And so it was talking about how I sit at my desk every day. I open my blinds the same way every day, stare at the same scenery every day, that kind of stuff. Um, and then the next one actually goes in detail about, like, the same schedule every day. So on this page, I like starred things that I could write further detail on, like going in small on it. Um, and this is like going into detail and it's like, this is my schedule every day. I sit at my desk from 9 to 3, go to work at 3.30, yada, yada, yada. This, I actually talked to you about this one. Um, this one's the tree, the same tree that I stare out outside my window every single day. 
um, and I just kind of go into detail about it. Um, I think I draw on another page, but, um, and this is kind of going back to, um, where I was talking about my home and like what makes it a home. This is kind of going back to that. And it's talking about how like the neighborhood cats and goes into detail about the neighborhood and like other things I've noticed over the four months of living here or at the time, four months of living here. Um, and it just like goes into details about other things that I've noticed that have made it a home rather than whenever I immediately moved in and it was a home. Um, this was my first attempt at like actual poetry and it's called like, I think I changed the title, but it's downtown thrift store. I think is what I ended up changing it, but this was where I kind of drafted it. Um, that was kind of a come and go type of thing. So I didn't sit down at one point and write it. Most of these weren't sitting down at one point and writing a full thing. Um, and then this next one is my narrative brainstorm, which you also will see pictures of that on my portfolio. Um, and then the next page is, um, I used one of the strategies in the writing strategies book and it's start with a character. And so I based my character off of my childhood best friend or my high school best friend. And then the next page I like created a story and like a memory with her about that, um, and used those details and like applied them into the story. Um, the next page is my nonfiction brainstorm, and so this one, which we met with about, um, but my original idea, well, this has a bunch of different ideas, but the ones I ended up going with, which is, like, the next, like, five pages, is about, like, farm animals, and, like, my favorite animal is a cow, and so I, like, went into detail about stuff that I wanted to write, and it was, like, a brainstorm, and this was me finding my sources and, like, creating a, like, narrative with it and everything. Um, but then we ended up changing course, and so, as you can see on this next page, nonfiction. Um, and so this was whenever I, like, this was my brainstorm, this page, and this page mainly, about what kind of things I wanted to apply to my new nonfiction piece. And so this was my redesign of a craft. Um, but yeah, so that was my nonfiction. Oh yeah, I also have this narrative outline. For some reason, I put this, like, five pages behind what it, where it was supposed to be I don't know if I did that intentionally or like accidentally skipped some pages or some pages stuck I don't know but there was that and then this is also my attempt at drawing the tree outside my window it's kind of faint you can't really see it it kind of just looks like some troll hair or something but um I kind of doodled all over it it was like same tree different day same tree different day like same tree different day that kind of stuff and then this is important people and memory so I like wrote some important people on here I meant to go back and add to it as I went but this was one sit down where I was like I have my dad my mom my older sister who's like my best friend and then my roommate who's also one of my best friends and just like some immediate memories that come to mind so like for example me and my dad have this inside joke about the word yeet and like that kind of stuff and then this page is also not complete um, but it was one of those things where I've been coming back to as time goes on I just like had the idea of it and I created it in my notebook and then went back to it <clears throat> but this was like conversations or something I overheard in public or some like touching memories or something and I put them in like these conversation bubbles and then I also like wrote notes so like one of these says um was something like I said about myself and I said poetry doesn't seem like it's worth my time I am just not a creative person in that way and then I wrote like a note off to myself and it says I'm gonna prove myself wrong so yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, and then here's another list of my favorite TV shows. This isn't nearly enough. For some reason, I can't remember a lot of it. But I have watched a lot of TV in my spare time, which is actually really bad. But anyway. <laughs> um, and then this was something I just kind of came up with. I don't remember if I saw it in the strategies book or like maybe something online. I don't know. Um, but it's like a description exercise. And it's someone I like versus someone I dislike. But you aren't allowed to put names on it. Did it stop? Hello? 